Hi, Mama. Hi, girls. How are you? How are you? What are you making? Your favorite spaghetti bolognese. I miss club volleyball. Gigi wanted to model all this time. Nice. Beautiful. And now she's like, well, I want to go back to play volleyball. And she's got to start building her career. And, and that means sometimes we have to give up things that we love to do. But you know what? It's two different things. Volleyball is a very masculine sport. Modeling is a very feminine thing. I so know. These girls, they train four hours a day after school. So their bodies are big and bulky. And I mean, they eat like, like men. In third grade, remember I used to wear basketball clothes to school every day? Yes, a Laker jersey, right? Yeah, to school every day. I thought that my daughter was a uh, lesbian. When somebody's looking for a brunette with blue eyes, Gigi's not going to get the job. If they're looking for all-American girl, they're not going to hire Bella. I mean, it's just a big competitive business, and you know, well, if it's meant for them, they're going to survive in it, and they're going to be successful. Your baby sissy. Oh my god, they're amazing. So, Gigi. <gasps> you guys can't make me do this. I like all of them. Well, you can't have You can't pick you all can't of them. You can't have all of them. Those are my favorite. Gigi's already been in it for a year and a half, and she's done the work. And, you know, it's, it's sweet to see her wanting to make her little sister part of it. Which one do you think is better of these two? Which one? These two with the cigarette. But I ain't even this smoking. One. I like that one better. No, let me see. Can I see it? Bella wants to be at work. She said to me last night, Mommy, if I become successful, am I allowed to stop school? If she's starting to make six figures a year, then I'm going to support that. This one's too posed. This one looks like she's just moving through the motion. So you always want to go for the one that looks natural, like like you can move in front of a camera. Cool. OK. So this one, no. OK, I'll put them together. Thank you. I left Holland when I was 16, so I grew up pretty much on my own, but my two girls together, they stand strong and you know, it's beautiful to watch because at the end of the day, that's the, all they have is each other in the big city. Ready? Are you like, <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna be very Tara. And the model that will be <laughs> moving on to the next round of America's next top model is All right, that's cute. <laughs> Good morning, Mom. Good morning, my love. How are you? Good, good. morning. How did you sleep? I'm good, sorry. Oh. I'm good. <laughs> Slept good. What time is the game? Um, I have to be there at 11, so... Thanks, Monica. Morning. Monta. Morning, how are you? Fine. You need to give you vitamins. The, and but why? Because the game doesn't start till 1. Because it's like warm-ups and stuff. For two hours? Yeah. Now that my daughters are gone, all of a sudden, it's just David and Anwar and I. And it's a big change, for sure. More the grapefruit? No. I'm good. Ugh. Thanks. It's so nasty. We didn't live with David until Anwar was 11. So as a young child, he took on the responsibility of being the man in the house. And he had this early on sense of like, OK, these are my girls, and I'm taking care of it. What are you going to plan for tonight? What are you doing? Um, when I'm dealing with your mommy, just you and me? Yeah, I think about it. <laughs> I think it's been hard for Anwar. He's felt sadness not having his sisters at home. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know yet. Hanging out with friends. Or, Hanging out with or having dinner with my mom. Oh, I yeah. love you. No, I understand. It's Saturday night. I'm sure you have better things mm -hmm. to do than hanging out with your mommy. I can't wait for soccer season to start, though. I'm not so sure about this football uh, sport. Well, I love you. Do you have water? Like a small one. Do you want to take some juice, or is that not good? Just water. You want some snacks? I'm good. Some nuts? Some almonds? <laughs> I love you. I love you. Good luck, baby. Bye, Bucky. Bye, Good luck. So Anwar has tutoring Wednesday night and Thursday night. Nick is going to come. OK. I'm going to miss my Anwar so much, my baby. As every mother knows, you know, leaving your children for these short periods of time is good for them. What are you going to do tomorrow? Uh, go to the beach. Go to the beach with friends. all your friends from school? Yeah. yeah. Be careful, though, because there'll be a lot of alcohol and stuff, right? Yeah, I guess so. When I travel, Mohammed is in charge. Mohammed and I have been separated since Anwar is 18 months old. So I think that kind of prepared him for this part of life, where now sometimes he's going to have to be alone. I miss him already. I haven't even left yet. <laughs> My only child left now. Yeah, I know. 
I'm so frustrated. I don't know where anything is. It's amazing how fast you forget where everything is. I don't forget. Well, because you're smart. You got the good genes, obviously. Remember you made risotto that one time and, I was, and then I got... I made chocolate night. risotto when I was six. That's not true. You weren't six. What are you making? I'm making tomato soup with grilled cheese dippers. Ooh. Hi, Elma. Hi, sweetheart. You look cute. To see three generations in the kitchen at the same time, it's beautiful. Yeah. Mommy, why doesn't this thing work? Oh. Smell, gosh. They're the chefs. Those are the most important people in my life. And I really need this time with my family before I go off to Ohio to get my surgery. You're not going to win a competition for cake against Bella. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh my god, that was the nicest thing you ever said to me. I taught you everything you know. All your kids are growing. Your grandkids are growing up. Do you know how to butter bread? No. I don't even know where to start. What do you think about the surgery next week? I hope that it will be good. I don't know. It's scary. Yeah, I hope it's scary, it. yeah. I just want to be healthy and alive. Okay. To see my babies grow. Just pile it on. I want it literally oozing out. It looks so good. Kimmy, I think I put too much cheese because now we're not going to have enough cheese. I want to be healthy and get out of bed and live my life. You cut them into fours and they become little dippers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it so good? Oh my god. That's why I use Gruyere. Is the soup almost done? Yeah, it's done. How exactly do you want us to bring a hot bowl of soup up the stairs? I have to run or I'm not going to make it up. Sorry. No, me too. I don't think you guys thought about the fact then we had to climb to the top of the hill with soup. Oh, oh my yummy, guys. Yummy. Good job, G. Wow, that looks amazing. Wow. You, you sit next to Oma, I'm gonna sit next to Gigi. Yeah. I'm full. I had like 200 grilled cheeses. <laughs> Wait, Mom, mm -hmm. what time do you leave tomorrow? My flight is at 9.15. I printed out this for you. It's in my safe. Gigi, Bella, and Anwar. And I just wanted you to see it so you know what it looks like. And this is for you guys. What? It's nothing, it's just my, my will. That's not nothing and I don't like that's how you just say that so calmly. I'm saying it calmly because it's important. This, you know, nothing is gonna happen, but I just want you guys to know that this is in the safe and this is all you need to know. When I was a young girl, one day I went to school and the next day my father was gone. When my dad died, my life was never the same. And you know, my biggest worry lately is, oh my God, what if I die? What's gonna happen to my children? Don't cry, mommy. It's okay. And I just want you guys to make sure that you take care of my mommy, okay? Why are you talking about I don't know why we're right talking now. about the surgery like something's gonna happen. Because I think that if 51% of you feels like something's going to happen, you shouldn't do it. Gigi, nothing's going to happen. So I why just, are you showing us your will? I'm... Uh, well, do you... It's important, Bella. It's very important. Nothing is going to happen. I'm fine. The woman has done 9,000 surgeries like mine and nothing has ever happened. I just don't want to have any surprises. And this is all you need to know. I mean, this will take care of you kids for the rest of your life and take care of my mommy and my brother.